Hello everyone, I am the OP Connoisseur, and this is my thoughts slash review on the 18th episode of the 6th season of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, also known as Buckball Season. I'd like to quickly say that, once again, thank you all for just sticking with me and watching my videos, and just being a part of my life, it's really been amazing. And this will officially be my last thoughts video until school starts, which will happen in a few days, but I'm still going to try my darn hardest to make reaction highlights and thoughts as soon as I can on the weekend, if not Monday or Tuesday, like normal. I hope that I can catch up with all my work and balance this as well, because I enjoy doing it. So with that being said, here are the thoughts. This episode was actually a really good episode. It's, it's definitely above average. There was a lot of good animation and facial features and just a lot of really in depth, like if, if you notice it, okay, because not every episode has this, and there's got to be some animator behind it because we've seen these facial expressions before, and it's just something I want to point out right now because it has nothing to do with the plot, really, although it really conveys expression. Some examples would be the train scene when Fluttershy really started yelling at Rainbow Dash and Applejack. Those facial expressions were amazing. And also with Fluttershy, when Rainbow Dash was showing her the whole, the, that whole obstacle course, her scared emotions got worse and worse, but the way that those emotions were conveyed, were conveyed really well. And this was something that I just really, really loved and really noticed. In addition with animation, little things like when they were walking through the train station, or not the train station, the train carts, the dividers of the seats had a 3D effect going, at least with the angle, because it's like, and I'm using my hand right now, if it goes from one end to the other, it, it slowly gets to the point where it's like this, and you can almost not see it, and then it, like, turns this way, like, you know, it tilts, and it's really interesting, and I like that a lot. It, it's just something that I noticed and appreciated. Now, the story itself was a good one, and the moral was simple, but also relatable. It starts off with Applejack trying to buck apples, which for one makes no sense because you'd think that with that much power the apples would smash. I guess maybe if they were like really, really not ripe, like very underripe, but they're red so I thought that maybe they're, they are ripe. Whatever it is, physics aside, it starts off with Applejack doing that and then Rainbow Dash joins in and interrupts her. That was a very funny scene and basically explains to Rainbow Dash about Buckball and how she's practicing for it. And it's funny how in the span of probably like one day, Rainbow Dash is taught Buckball, but then both of them are overdone or, or basically one-upped by Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy. And that was really funny in a sense, because it's like, this all just happened in a day. It's odd that no other pony has heard of Buckball really besides Applejack, like the Apple family in Appaloosa. You'd think that it was like a major sport. And at first when I saw this episode, I thought, wait, haven't we heard this from Spike already that one time when he said he was going to go and play with Big Mac somewhere? And he actually said the word hoofball, I think. So they're two different games, hoofball and buckball. I mean, they could have easily said hoofball and it would have at least been a little bit of continuity and it would just flow smoothly with the entire mention of it. Nitpicks aside, we then have Fluttershy and Pinkie Pie really showing how well they play a buckball, and I think that every pony, well, not every pony, the humans that are watching this episode are probably gonna agree that Fluttershy was really cute in this episode with her tail. That tail is very versatile, and I loved it. It was very just like, it, you, you, you squeed inside. Like, when you saw Fluttershy being all happy, it really does make you happy. It made me happy. Maybe that's because I feel emotions more. Whatever it is, I really enjoyed that. And it was nice bringing in snails too. Snails, no, nobody would expect snails. I, I mean, when's the last time I've even seen Sniffs and Snails? It's been a very long time. And the fact that they were bringing in those characters as a pretty big part, at least, like, Snails was a big part for well over half of the episode. That's amazing. And it's funny because the townsfolk aren't really that good at magic, but Snails, this younger pony, is really good at it. And, you know, it, maybe it has to do with natural talent. I, I, we can't really say for sure. It was funny seeing Snails just meditate and 
be absolutely in control with his talent and makes you wonder what his actual talent is because if moving slowly and taking your time to do things is his talent because it's a snail then he might have another talent coming. We then arrive in Appaloosa where Rainbow Dash and Applejack intentionally lose or at least not play as hard as they can to win against Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy and their reasoning was to give them a workout but in reality it was to boost Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy's confidence and this is where the moral kicks in. The moral is a couple of things. One it's the obvious have fun while you play a game okay because you know it doesn't matter whether you win or lose it's just about having fun. That's true for the most part especially if there's no prize which, you know, I wish that there was. That aside, the real moral is not to treat others the way you would treat yourself, or at least feel around the person. Because Rainbow Dash and Applejack were treating Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy with the whole obstacle course like it would be something they would enjoy as a workout. But in reality, that kind of hardcore method is not something that they would like. It's something that Rainbow Dash and Applejack themselves would like. And... We learned that, and they learned that, and it's good that they implement it by basically just reenacting the entire first experience that Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy had. And if you didn't notice, Fluttershy spinning around with the tail happened both in her first experience and in this sort of rejuvenation of this experience of fun. And that is why I enjoyed this episode a lot is that it shows that you need to feel around people, you need to get to know them, you need to realize that not everybody likes doing things the way you would, but at the same time, involving people in the way of life that you live might influence the way of life that they live, but don't take it too far, don't pressure, don't do it all so quickly. That's a lesson that even I have to learn, and it's a lesson that I hopefully will learn, and that's why these shows and these episodes are really great and that's why I'm gonna give it an 8 8.5 out of 10 for an episode the animation was great the moral was great the moral progression was also really good because we had not only one but two morals and it was really brought in halfway through the episode not at the very end like it usually is and really the character development was all around Rainbow Dash and Applejack had a realization and Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy also had a realization to just have fun and try new experiences. Even Snails had character development, at least with his actual talent. So, with that being said, please share your thoughts below. I would love to hear from you. And as always, I am the Old Connoisseur. I thank you for your time. If you want to keep up to date, subscribe, and you'll be up to date. And I'll see you in the next video, so... Bye. <laughs>